Meanwhile, families trying to escape the ongoing battle in Mosul have been arriving in emergency camps around northern Iraq. CCTV's Natalie Carney tells us more about the huge humanitarian aid effort. This is the first international aid convoy for the people of Mosul. 20 trucks, uh, 530 tons of donations. It includes uh, tents, which they're unloading right now. There are blankets, there's food, uh, there's clothing even, all for the people of Mosul, and all very crucial as we approach winter. The biggest problem, how are they actually going to deliver this stuff to the people most in need? ISIL is very, very present still in much of the area. They They've also uh, left landmines around even in the areas that have been uh, vacated and, and liberated by the coalition forces. So that's a very difficult task ahead. The Turkish Red Crescent, uh, who are behind this project, say they are going to coordinate with their local partners and do the best they can to deliver the aid to those most in need. Humanitarian agencies say they currently have space for about 60,000 people in the tents that they've erected throughout northern Iraq. But according to the United Nations, they are expecting upwards of 200 to 250,000 to flee Mosul in the first weeks of the offensive on the city itself. As coalition forces successfully advance on Iraq's second largest city, they're still on the outskirts and admit it could take weeks, even months, to free the 1.2 million people still stuck inside. And then with houses destroyed, families blown apart, the question really is, what comes next? Natalie Carney for CCTV outside Erbil in northern Iraq.